Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Out and about on this absolutely fantastic winter's day. Really cold, five and a half degrees centigrade. But uh, opportunities to ride your bike are so few and far between this time of year, thought I'd have to come out. So uh, just a bit of uh, random bloggage for you. Stick around, stay tuned. Let's see what we can find on this glorious winter's day. So one of the unintended consequences of uh, doing this YouTube game, and uh, it's great that uh, things have taken off quite well for me and that I've got uh, loads of content and stuff, loads of bikes to ride, but one of the unintended consequences, as I've mentioned before, is that you don't get to ride your own bikes very much. Now, this time last week, I'm recording this on Monday, I think it's the 29th of January, this time last week I was out riding big GSs in Spain uh, with Richie Vida and uh, Teapot One, Lamb Chop rides, uh, and some others. We had a great time in the Spanish hills and uh, there will be some videos coming up actually from those guys on what we got on with. Lots of people have been saying to me, can't wait for your video on the Spanish trip with the other vloggers. Well I don't want to disappoint you chaps so I'll let you down now. <laughs> I didn't make any video. I, uh, I've made lots of videos out in Spain as you may have seen if you watch the channel regularly. And so uh, I decided not to do a straightforward sort of um, travel type vlog there. So there'll be plenty on their channels, I'll let you know when they're on so you can go and watch them on their channels. I've made some other videos though, I've done some more in my series of uh, what I call MTV Meet the Vlogger. You may remember probably about a year ago now actually that I did my first Meet the Vlogger with Dell of Dell Boys Garage, went down and uh, met up with him, lovely chap and uh, fair enough I've just been talking to him on the phone just now and uh, then I didn't make any more MTVs just because I didn't have the chance to meet up with any other vloggers really but I've done that now so uh, in the can from that Spain trip are three cracking meet the vloggers with uh, Lamb Chop Rides, Teapot One and Richie Vida so stick around and stay tuned to the channel for those in the next few weeks and months. So I'll spread them out because I don't want to, you know, I, what I like to do on the channel is to try and keep things fresh, have as much variety as I can. So those are coming up, That's uh, that'll be my contribution to that sort of Spain trip video stuff if you like. But today, it's just beautiful. The forecast this week is for absolutely horrible weather. There's snow expected and it's going to get really cold. I mean, it's cold now. This is the depths of winter. This is as cold as it gets here in Blighty in winter. And at the moment, my uh, sat-nav is telling me it's four and a half degrees centigrade, which is uh, about as cold as I want to come out on a bike. Now, my heart does go out to my Canadian subscribers. I read a comment this morning from, uh, I think it was Mark in Canada, saying that his bike was now well and truly undercover. I think he was counting down the weeks, it was something like another seven weeks before he'll even be able to get the bike out and have a go. So uh, we don't have that problem here in Blighty. Occasionally you do get these days where the sun's out and it's beautiful. I'm lucky because my GS, I've got festooned with uh, <laughs> items that make this sort of riding comfortable. I've got a heated seat on here, I've got uh, heated grips, they're all on, I've got loads of layers on at the moment uh, and I feel quite nice and warm and toasty. My loose plan today is to head up to somewhere called, well I know it is the Golden Ball or the Hellfire Caves. There's a church at the top of a hill just towards West Wickham and uh, I just think it'd be a good place to put the drone up. I've put my drone up for ages. I need to just check when I get there and make sure that uh, I'm okay to fly the drone. Either the people that uh, run the church there may not like it so I'm going to just need to check for any signage. And also I just need to double check on my uh, maps that I'm not within the uh, Wickham Air Park. ATZ, that's pilot speak for too close to uh, Wickham Airport's uh, area because obviously if I'm within their area I can't fly the drone so I need to check that. I think I'm right on the edge of it so I should be okay but uh, providing uh, all is well I'm hoping to get the drone up again. I haven't done that for ages. I bought that drone for my Norway trip. Sadly I had some technical issues and never got it flown in Norway which is such a shame because it would have been absolutely cracking. Anyway, I'll see if I can uh, fly up there today. And then all that really is just an excuse to get out on the uh, on my BMWs. I said I've been riding BMWs all last week, but they weren't mine. <laughs> they were the brand new bikes. Well, I say that, new, much newer than this. I was riding the GS Rally, the 1200, but they were new last year. And it just impresses the hell out of me, these bikes, because I've had this now, this is a late, well, this is an early 2014 model. I think I need to go down here. So given it's now the start of 2019, you know, over four years old, 
I have just had it serviced, admittedly, but this bike feels just as good as the new bikes I was riding. It really does. It's a cracking machine. And as much as I love the new 1250, and it is improved in every way, I couldn't justify getting one because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this bike. And I've got this bike as I like it now. If I was to get the 1250, I'd have to add the heated seats and all the, you know, the protection. I've got all sorts of things on here that I won't list at the moment. That's the subject of another video soon. Uh, that would cost me a lot of time and money to get the new one up to scratch. So I'm sticking with this one for the time being. Crap, this sun is really bright. It's going to have to be a visor down situation. So I'm throwing caution to the wind today and I'm going with this two camera setup. Got my Hero 7 as my B camera on this new mount on the uh, handlebars. It's wobbling about a bit, but I'm so confident in the image stabilisation, I'm sure that'll work okay. And I've gone back to my Hero 4 as my main helmet camera. Might not be too good today because the sun's right in my face, but uh, last Friday, I don't know if you saw the video I posted, in fact I posted it on Saturday, uh, at the Royal Enfield Interceptor I rode, a bike I've been wanting to ride for ages. If you've not seen that video, do go back and check it. It's done really well. Today, as I say, I'm recording this on Monday and it's had well over 20,000 views. It's only been up for a couple of days, so that one's done well. But the disappointment for me was, because I thought that would be a well-viewed video, I decided to uh, try the Hero 7 as my helmet camera again. And unfortunately, the picture quality on that video is absolutely appalling. I don't know why, I don't know if it's something to do with what YouTube did, but even when I checked the raw footage back, straight out the camera, it's really rubbish quality. Uh, it's a particularly dull day, unfortunately, when I film that, so I think it might just be a low light issue. Today it's bright, and that's partly why I want to check this camera out again and see how these pictures looking at my face come out. Uh, if they're nice and smooth with the stabilisation working and whether the, you know, the colours are quite bright. So I'll let you decide whether the camera's working okay. But what an absolute tonic for the troops to be out today. As I say, weather forecast for the rest of the week, absolutely pants. Very little chance of getting out on the bike because I had to come out today. I was thinking actually of coming out on each of my bikes today because I didn't have any other plans for today. Lucky on me. Uh, and I thought I might just come out for a flat on each bike. But in the end I thought, you know what? I've got all the heated stuff on the on the Beamer. Let's just go out on this because I haven't ridden this since it was serviced. See how it fares compared to those bikes I was riding last week. Let's see if I can do a bit of dronage. Unfortunately, the scourge of the southeast has struck again. Here I am behind a uh, Honda. Not a motorcycle, unfortunately, but some sort of jazz. And uh, I've got a solid white line, so I can't overtake him. Or her. Never mind. What a treat it is to be out on the bike, anyway. Ooh. Could be an opportunity here. coming to a 40 zone unfortunately but I should be able to just squirt by quickly. I must say once you ride these 1200s for a bit they do loosen up a bit and uh, I find this bike's got plenty of punch. Oh slow down a bit. Alright so I haven't got far to go to uh, that hill I was talking about up by the Hellfire Caves just up here and on the right so uh, I'll get up there and then uh, See if we can do a quick bit of dronage. See you in a minute. Yeah! Oh, it's like being back in Spain again. Loving it. This is a lovely little spot. This is the town of West Wickham. High Wickham itself, which is behind me a couple of miles, a bit of a grim place to be honest. It's alright, it's a typical market town, nothing special. Not as nice as it sounds before I moved to this area. But this little area is blighted by the fact it's got Wickham in the title. Because <laughs> it's so lovely. Just on, on the edge of the Chilterns here in Buckinghamshire, in southern England. Right, where I want to go though is up this way. I'm going to pass, I'm going to go down this little road here, Church Lane. And there's the hill I'm climbing. I want to try and get the drone up there, if I can. You see there's this building here, that's a mausoleum, uh, built above what's called the Hellfire Caves. We'll pass these in a minute. Uh, there's a long story as to why they're called the Hellfire Caves. But back in the day, all sorts of weird and wonderful parties used to go on in caves under that hill, to which the entrance is just here. All sorts of debauchery used to go on with uh, politicians and bishops and all that sort of thing. I'll leave your imagination to run right as to what that might have been. 
but at the top of the hill they built that mausoleum and there's this church and there's just some quite nice views so there's no one around who's going to get irritated and it's legal for me to do so and I'm going to uh, park the bike up here see if I can get the drone up so uh, if you see some drone shots next you know it went okay I'm so lucky to live where I do it's uh, well within easy reach of uh, London yet I've got all these bits of countryside and interesting things around if I want to oh but I'm off road on my own GS whatever next she's just fairly clean so I don't want to go through these puddles <laughs> what am I like Whoa, slippy on this mud. Right, let's set up shop over here. Got the ice on these puddles. This will do nicely. Me thinks. Yeah, let's give it a go. So this is a splendid little spot just here on top of this hill here. Look behind me, the church is behind this bit here. We'll see if we can get the drone up in a minute. And then we've got this splendid view over here. Uh, this is all, this is looking towards, believe it or not, towards High Wycombe, uh, which isn't the most picturesque place in the world, but uh, this is a lovely little spot. It's so cold today though. These puddles here, look, we've still got ice here, just to show you how brave I am. I don't, I'm just not a fair weather rider, you know. Right, let's see what we've got around here. It's actually pretty windy up here, so uh, I'm not sure if the uh, drone's going to be a go or not. I'll give it a try, but it might just come out saying it's too windy. So, right. So on the GoPro, it flattens everything out as ever, but uh, there is a beautiful view over that way. Right. Without further ado, before I freeze to death, let me get the drone out. So uh, if you see some drone shots next, it worked out all right. If you don't, it didn't. Well, that was a splendid little Monday afternoon's entertainment. Bike's not looking too grungy, so my OCD doesn't go into overdrive. Excellent. Ah. Right then, we've still got uh, frozen puddles and a bit of the slippy stuff, but uh, I'm sure I can handle it. Ooh. Oh, I can't! Ow! <laughs> Jeez, that was slippo. Oh well, let's give this a try then. Ah. Oh, made it. Who says you can't pick a GS up on your own? Right, quick check. Mud, yuck.
there. Like it's all super soft. Absolutely no harm done. Look, went down slowly. What a pain. What was I just saying about cleaning? Right, on we go. Hello, you're back again. Right, let's have a think about this. This is like literally riding on ice. Might be safer. I don't know. Let's see what happens. The problem is the tyres are completely caked. And these are obviously just road tyres. Right, here we go again then. Oh, ain't going to work real well there. There we go. Oh, take two. This is really slippery. Man, it's just like ice on here. Let's get onto this dry looking bit if I can. Whoa, that's better. Let's not drop her again just as I'm coming off. Well, there we go, that was a bit of excitement at the end there, wasn't it? Cure crikey, drop me GS, what about that? Who would have thought it? But, what I did prove, is that it's no drama to pick them up. Well, that turned out to be a bit of an exciting afternoon, didn't it? I'm hoping I got some uh, good dronage, not too sure whether I did or not. But if you uh, saw some pictures, then I did. And then uh, just as a little bonus, for the viewer at least, <laughs> a little bite drop at the end, which I certainly wasn't expecting, but that mud was as slippery as mud gets, and uh, as you saw, there was still ice around as well. It was a combination of slippy mud and ice. Not good, and on pure road tyres, once the bike starts to go, you might as well just let it go. I've learnt the hard way over the years. If the bike feels like it's going to drop, don't fight it, let it go, otherwise you end up injuring yourself. A bike can always be fixed. What it did demonstrate to me though, quite nicely, was actually how easy it is to pick up a GS on your own. I mean, given I've got the top box on the back, and it was slippery underfoot, I was quite surprised with the ease at which I was able to lift it up. Could have been adrenaline flowing, of course. Even a, you know, a slow drop like that. Gets the adrenaline flowing, because you're, uh, you're not used to it. But happy to say, no damage done to me or the bike. Just needs to clean, which I was hoping to get away with, but there we go. Transpires a couple of your bikes need to clean at the moment. Not because I dropped them, but because they've been out in the mud. So uh, I think tomorrow I'll be out with the bucket and sponges. Well, I hope that's been of some interest to you. It's a beautiful day out here. As I said at the start, you've got to make the most of these uh, days and get out on the bike when you can, because the rest of the week I think it's going to be horrible. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, then thanks very much for watching. I don't normally do just straightforward vloggage like this, but I do all sorts of things. I do bike tours, I do bike reviews, I do kit reviews. I do bike news, I do the odd live stream once a month as well. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be great to have you along. Do hit that subscribe button. I post videos at least every Monday and Thursday, very often a lot more. In fact, at the moment, I think I've posted a video a week for about the last, a video a week, a video a day for the last, uh, last week or so. So I'm supporting you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio. So how much do you reckon this Beamer driver wants for that number plate? Hmm, nice plate, Gov.